on my way to get my brows done so i had it done around six weeks ago and then i moved so i was supposed to come back for a six week touch up i have the ombre brows so because i moved i'm not gonna fly all the way back to new york to get it done to be touched up so i had to find a new person here in this state to get my brows touched up so thankfully she agreed because it seems like they i called a bunch of people but it seemed like they don't like doing work that was already done by somebody else but i found somebody who was willing to do it i sent her photos of my brows and she agreed to do the touch-up since it wasn't too far out um that i had it done and the shape pre looks pretty good but i just want it to be a little more crisp i like the color i like the shape but the like right here seems a little bit faded so i want it to be as crisp as this one so that's why i really want to do the touch-up um the lady that did the first one she said after i do the touch-up i won't need to do another touch-up for not like three more years so i'm like hoping this will be it so i'm heading there now she gave me like an early appointment um so i don't mind going early because i want to get it over with so i could get my day going because today is my day off i think um, it's the only day off until the weekend so i'm i have a lot to do today so i'm gonna get the brows done and then get going oh i guess it depends on the person mm. it's not supposed to hurt it felt like more needly than i feel the needle but that one was more needly <laughs> i don't know okay <laughs> Yeah, it shouldn't hurt. It should just feel like cat scratching. Mm-hmm. I literally just got home and this is what my brows are looking like. So it's a bit dark. Um, but it's going to fade eventually to like a more natural brown color. Um, so for the next seven days, I can't get it wet. I can wash my face, but try not to get the actual brow wet. And no exercise that requires like excess sweating, like aerobics for the next seven days. And then I'll start putting Aquaphor on it on day two. And then it's going to start to kind of like slough off a little bit. And then you'll have more like natural looking. But right now it's it's looking like harsh. But it's going to fade. It's going to fade. Just like because this is like my touch up. This is not like the first time I'm doing it. So I just went for a touch up. And this is what it's looking like. Right? Yep. And that's it. Uh, I'm about to head to the mall. I met some friends at an after work mixer. They invited me to brunch tomorrow. So I'm going to get something to wear. Um, and for those who didn't see my previous moving video, I moved to a new state. So majority of my clothing, um, I left them in New York. I'm going to ship them soon. So I only brought clothes that I would need for work and, you know, like daily, you know, everyday clothes. So now I need something to go out. Um, so I'm going to head to the mall and try to see if I could find something to wear. And also my makeup, I packed and accidentally packed all my makeup. So my makeup in New York. So uh, Sephora is having a sale. So I'm going to go there and see. I brought the liquid foundation, thankfully, but the powder is left in New York. So I just need uh, maybe like powder foundation and a blush and uh, um, bronzer. So I'm going to head there. Um, thankfully, they're having a sale today. So I'll see if what I could get. All right. Let's go.
hard to do. This one's my favorite one. My face is so oily. I just finished at the mall. I got an outfit to wear tomorrow. So I'm hoping I like it tomorrow because it's where sometimes I'll buy something and on the day off I feel terrible. So I don't know. I hope I still like it tomorrow. I'm not sure what type of venue it is because I didn't really look it up online. So I'm hoping it's not like a club club thing. I'm hoping it's just like sit down and eat and go home thing because the outfit I bought is not really for like a party. It's just sit down, eat and go home. So I'm hoping that's the type of event it is tomorrow. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to head home now. I have to change my nail um i literally have to do my nail um today uh so i have to go home remove these and put a fresh polish on them and then i'll see so anyways i'll catch you later all right so i'm ready to go to brunch now um i'm on time so i've already got my outfit on curled my hair the works so today i'm wearing the tom ford sole blanc so I'm using it because it gives me a little shimmer and my shirt kind of has like a deep cut. So I'm actually wearing like a two-piece set that I bought in Forever 21 yesterday. Let's see, it just gives me like a nice little glow. There we have it. And then these earrings, I bought them in Forever 21, like the same time I bought the outfit. I'm going to show you a little bit longer view of the outfit. So hold on. It's actually a two-piece set that I took up. So it's like a top and then I found a bottom. It's not exactly the same color, but you can't even tell. It really complements. So here you go. And the little corset-like top. And then it has like the detailing in the back. And then the pleated. It's a pants, but it looks like a skirt. 
so it's like really cute i think i wore something similar to this when i was on vacation in jamaica um so i picked it today it's like a nice little brunch outfit you know it's like really cute i love the color it looks really nice on my skin tone so there you have it this is my little outfit and then so my purse i got this little purse i didn't want i saw a nicer one in aldo that i really liked but this one was on sale for twenty dollars in marsh no, no it was in marshall tj maxx so it was on sale in tj maxx for twenty dollars so i decided to just grab it and look at my little ring um this is my birthstone i saw this in tj maxx so i grabbed it too it's like really pretty this is like i really love the color i've been looking for a ring that matches my birthstone for a while and i found this one so i went with it and my little bracelet it's not cartier it's cartier's cousin <laughs> i bought it when i was on vacation in dubai um so yeah that's it and there you have it it's my little brunch outfit <laughs> okay okay so i'm all ready i'm gonna drive to the brunch spot now and meet the girls so this is me and by the way the lip gloss i'm wearing is just nine dollars and it's by yeah this is it the lip gloss i'm wearing this is it it's the nyx fat oil and it's literally just nine dollars it feels amazing and look at the color on my lips it's also amazing i'm actually pretty close to the place i thought it would be further away but thankfully not so here we go so i just got to the brunch spot and i'm gonna go to the restaurant i don't even know the reservation and this wind is crazy there we go
one of these scarier than it actually was. It was more fun than scary. That's good. You want to see all the pictures I took? We sure. Have down there, okay? Yeah.